Hey YouTube, here with another software update. This is the highly anticipated software update version 9. Has a lot of cool features that we're gonna go over right now. Okay, so we just got it complete. So version 9 includes updates to the touchscreen. Uh, let's not turn that off. Touchscreen, test and mobile app redesign. So there's a lot of stuff to go in here. It's got on Tesla's website. We'll just scroll through real quick. So combining auto steer and lane change. So now there's not two different settings in the setting menu. There's only one setting. This blind spot warning, which will on the screen behind your steering wheel, return uh, one of the lines red if you turn your turn signal on and your car sees a car in your blind spot. So the mobile app gets an update, which you can now Play and pause music, which I don't know why they made that a priority versus maybe turning on heated seats from your app. Um, and then several other functions. I think most of this is only for iOS though. So I'm not sure when they're gonna come out with the Android update. So the application launcher. So now, as you can see here at the bottom of the screen, all your applications are right in this, uh, through this application longer and no longer are they um, kind of along the top like Model S and X owner, owners are used to. So the climate control has been redesigned also. I think it's just a UI redesign. There's not any, much new there. And then cold weather can now be accessed uh, in the climate control as kind of like a one tap. Okay, so navigation on the touchscreen now provides more information about upcoming turns. So I guess there's more details. That was one of the gripes I think people had with the navigation when they're kind of driving down the road and there's not a lot of details related to um, you know, where they're turning and all that. But you can see here the navigation kind of shows like a picture of the interstate and all that. So that'll be helpful. Use of HOV lanes. If you live in a area where you have access to HOV lanes because you're an electric car. Like I know California has that. Um, Virginia and DC has discontinued that for now, but you can turn on and off HOV lanes and your nav will route you through the HOV lanes, which is pretty sweet. So traffic view has been restyled to, okay, yeah, that's just saying they kind of updated the traffic view. And we'll dive into that a little bit. And then so the media player has now um, allows three different views. And then you can also, if you listen to the radio, I've never listened to radio in our Tesla. Um, I always do the streaming. But if you listen to the radio, you can now just type in the specific number you're trying to search for. And it also adds some settings. So you can um, edit out explicit lyrics and DJ commentary. So the controls panel has been redesigned too to make controls and settings easier to find. I think they condensed a lot of these little menu options um, and just make it kind of cleaner look, which is nice. So I guess uh, everybody's heard about this probably. Tesla Atari. So there's some Atari games which we'll go over here in a few minutes. Um, that are now part of the Easter eggs, uh, which aren't too hard to find. I'll show you how to get that. Um, obstacle aware acceleration, I skipped that. So this is limiting acceleration when your car detects something in the path, which is a great idea. I mean, these cars are really powerful, so. Uh, I mean, <laughs> definitely don't wanna be accelerating through uh, gas station glass like I've seen on YouTube before. So a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot of things going on here. This is kind of weird. Here's a little. Um, so now you can see the navigation is like the whole screen. And so even up top here, once it loads, it's going to be the entire screen. And then the music itself will overlay um, over top. And so let's. Uh, Swipe that down twice and it'll go away completely. And then here's our our application launcher here at the bottom. And so we have the same applications 
um, that you've seen in SNX, and I guess this was now added for the Model 3. So we have calendar, energy, web, camera, call, and charging. And um, yeah, so nothing new there. So this will kind of time out when you hit that up after a little while, then it'll time out and um, it will go back down. So let's see. So typically you could have the, there's our uh, kids Model S. Thank you guys for using the referral code for that. I appreciate it. Um, so there's no longer, so before in the SNX you could have like this on the bottom, this on the, you know, or or this on the top and navigation on the bottom. So now you no longer can do that and it's just, um, just here on the bottom. So if I was to tap music, then it would, um, if music is up, then the camera goes away. So uh, it's more like the SNX, or it's more like the Model 3 now that it's, like the overlay, which, I mean, a lot of times I like driving with the rear camera constantly on up here. I guess once you select your music, you can still go in here and hit the rear camera. So, not a huge deal. Let's take a look at um, how this has changed here. So we're gonna turn on the AC. So now we have an AC mode here, and then if we click this button, Here's where we get to all our um, cold weather climate. So we have the heated steering wheel, the heated front seats, heated rear seats, and the heated wipers. So that's all just in this little side menu. Nice and easy to get to. Hopefully they add the ability to turn that on and off from the uh, mobile application soon. And so you can toggle between these and the fan speed, of course, and um, bio weapon defense mode. Um, so we'll just turn that off. Okay, so we still have our quick control to get heated seats here. Um, and then if you have the option like we do, you can just hit cool and that'll start cooling the seat. Um, so that's how you turn it off now. A Little bit different. Sorry, that was probably hard to see. Let's see if I can get so it's, there's the uh, toggle between cool and uh, heated. So we'll just go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so let's go into the vehicle settings menu. And um, so it looks a little bit different. We have little icons, I know. Like So here we have quick controls, which I'm not sure how these quick controls are um, assigned. I'm not sure if they change, but so under suspension, everything kind of looks the same, but uh, it it looks a little bit cleaner. Like they cleaned up some of the um, sub menus. But yeah, everything looks uh, looks the same. There's the new feature, use HOV lane, so that's under navigation. Um, so you can turn that on if you have the ability to use HOV lanes. Security alarm, so it looks like that was turned off, so we'll turn that on. And service mode, okay. Now let's go into something I was kind of excited for was the uh, the new Atari games, which, you know, is silly. Okay, so we have the regular Easter eggs up here, and all you do is tap the T up here, and that's how you find that. And so we'll click on Atari and see where it takes us. Okay, so. Okay, so it actually uses the, uh, you can hear the sounds in the car. So 
So it'd be really cool if they uh, added functionality for the steering wheel to do this. But then you have another few games up here: Lunar Lander, Centipede. I'll let you guys play around with that, um, and I'm sure you've seen that online. Uh, so same type of setup. I, I mean, it's fun. Oh, this one even has a. Uh, some, I guess, space noise or rocket noise playing through the speakers, um, which is kind of fun. And let's see, Missile Command, see if it, oh, I'm sorry, let's see, Asteroids, and see if it'll play any sound through there. The same type of uh, sounds that we're all used to if you ever played this uh, on Atari. So, pretty cool or annoying. So, we'll see what happens when you do full screen. Triple tap display to exit full screen. Okay. So, you can actually do this completely full screen. Then, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, so if you do the full screen, then you can actually you can actually use the steering wheel controls. Um, so triple tap the screen to exit. So we'll go full screen and see. So it looks like the. You can use the steering wheel controls to control the game. So I think that was um, that was just about it. I know there's a lot of updates coming through the mobile app, so I'll try to post another video of the mobile app um, when that comes. But I hope you guys like this video. If you wanted to see something else that I didn't go over um, in the user interface, uh, the new user interface of software version 9. Let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.